mid-May, a historically turbulent time for the weather. While most take cover from the monsters that roam during this period, groups of weather enthusiasts hit the road, hoping to get a front row experience to one of the most dramatic displays of nature's fury. This year, my dad and I were part of that group, as we embarked on three days of chasing across the American heartland. This is the story of our 2023 chase trip. The day before our first chase was filled with preparation and anticipation. The forecast called for storms along the Nebraska-Colorado border, as a surface low moving off the Rockies paired with a strong low-level jet would help pull unstable air up from the south, providing an ideal environment for supercells and potentially tornadoes. You ready? Born ready. We're in the big leagues. We're no longer <laughs> local Wisconsin chasers anymore. Nope, we are going big. <laughs> go big or go home, right? Our weeks of planning and my forecasting skills were about to be put to the test as we drove eight hours to Omaha, Nebraska, where we'd spend the night before our first day of chasing. Day one began with a six hour drive to our target area of Sydney, Nebraska. The forecast showed storms would initiate to our south in Colorado and potentially become tornadic as they crossed the Nebraska border. We arrived in the target area early and like all other chasers, we spent plenty of time looking for the proper bait to use to lure in some tornadoes. By 1.30, the first storms of the day were developing to our south, so we began moving into Colorado. However, our attention was quickly captured by something much closer. Right, we're gonna stop briefly and take a look at this guy that's popping up behind us here, right where we were. And then we're gonna make the boogie south towards our target storm. Should we drive back there a little bit? Or? Yeah, let's head over there a little bit. All right, I'm gonna get out and get some photos of that guy. Okay. And we can head in towards... Should I pull up to that little... Uh, no. Nah. Okay, this is mine. Seeing as the Colorado storms wouldn't be in the better environment until much later, we decided to play the Nebraska cell as we waited for our southern target. How's that? We are perfect. Now we just sit and watch for a little bit. Up a little bit. Ah, uh, this is fine. We're good where we are. How's it going? We're gonna come find you. Oh yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Nice How's to meet you, good? Charlie. What do you think of this cell? It was it was elevated, but the base has come down mm -hmm. in the last like I don't know how long. Not that long. Yeah, it's starting to get there. I think we should. Just, the heaviest stuff of the core is gonna pass for our south. I'm thinking just sitting here and letting that southwest corner reach up here and then just falling behind this thing. Yeah. That's my plan. I'm gonna get in my car. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're thinking of heading south because it's cleared, starting to clear that road. That south road there. Oh uh, yeah, straight south right here. We're thinking of heading that way. We're good. We're almost there. Another one is a little faster. Oh, some good hail. That was some good <laughs> hail. <laughs> yeah, I thought it would have cleared the road already. Yeah, let's pull in here and just look for a little bit. Uh, point at it. Point that way. Point all the way that way. Which way? You point? That way. Point oh. that way. Point that way. And stop. Perfect. Ah, nice little base. Let me get out. We just need. Yeah, it's. it's It just needs to cycle a little bit more and I think we'll be there. It's getting there. You even see a bit of the horseshoe, you see the backside curls. Yep. So I'm thinking once the RFD comes around we might have another a good shot at this something. This is actually this storm, it looks looking under it, it looks like a it's, it's, it's a supercell now. Yeah. I mean it's not very impressive, but yeah. you see that it's and it's, it's and it's barely moving too, so if it puts it's something down, moving. it's gonna be right up there. Well and and, and it's LP. Yeah. Yeah, weak rotation on it. Yeah, it's getting the shape. Yeah, it's really surging. You can see the sharp right edge. Yeah, see that sharp right edge there? Yeah. It might, looks like it's a little concentrated. Yeah. With a new cell firing and our storm's inflow, 
a cell merger seemed imminent. These mergers can help intensify a thunderstorm. So, we began moving north, hoping this merger would help kick our storm into high gear. It's looking nice. It's like a solid supercell. It's just got to merge, so it's looking a little ragged right now, but once the two updrafts combined, hopefully it gets its act together. Wow. That's structure. Photo. That. What are we looking at? Which way are we looking? That? That's way. Yes, no? Yeah. To go down to the, or do you want to go down there? Stop here for a little bit. How's it going? Good. Storm chasing? No. I'm not watching. <laughs> <laughs> We're not competition. It's definitely looking more aggressive than it was earlier. Instead of one, it's one big lowering. Mm -hmm. By this point, our storm had taken on a more elevated appearance, meaning the bottom of our storm was much higher up than we wanted. This high base meant our storm was going to have a much harder time producing tornadoes. Along with that, the southern storms we'd been watching had finally moved closer and were intensifying. With the development to our west looking more potent, we decided to abandon this storm. And just as we arrived to our new target, we were greeted by what we had come all this way to see. Yeah. Oh, look at that tornado in front of us. See the dust cloud? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Tornado in front of us. Tornado on the ground. Okay, let's find a clear area to stop and watch for a little bit. Let's keep going. Keep going. Keep on going. Tornado. You got a tornado. That's your first tornado right there. I'm gonna report that. Oh, it's so clear. You can crystal clear see it. This tornado dissolved quickly. However, a new circulation was rapidly developing, and we were right in its path. I'm gonna get a few photos of this thing. Okay. Yeah, our escape route is just gonna be straight back. Straight back that way. Okay. Good? Good. Right in front of us. Ready? Go back that way. I don't see what you're pointing at. It's right straight in front of us. See that right up there? How it's spinning? Right there, you see the swirl? Right, coming over the field. Oh yeah. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> you want to turn around and get... See uh, let's let it clear behind us. Is that it? Yeah, that would be it. That's the, That would be it. But we're not going into it, trust me. It's going to clear us. Do you want to go to where we yeah, were Yeah, let's sitting? head up that road. Where we were sitting before? Yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, see it? Go, 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 go. Get up to that clearing, get up to that clearing. We're in the wrong spot, dude. Right? Uh, this might just be outflow. Yeah, this is outflow right over here. I think we're good here. That was a little close. That, didn't you feel the pressure pop? I didn't feel it. Oh, I did. <laughs> oh yeah, you see the dust? We're behind it, we're good. Just keep going down this road. Here it goes 50 miles ahead. <laughs> Hard to stop. Is it past us? Or did we... uh, it should be past us, yeah. Are we driving the wrong way into it? No, we're good. We're behind it. This is all outflow winds. Turn around and watch it go. Yeah, we can turn around. We're ready. That one? Can. Yes or no? Yes. We need the wheels and all of you. Mm -hmm. uh, should we just sit here for a second? Let's just sit here for a second and just watch it. Do your wipers ones? There's no warning, like no. I know. I'm gonna put in a report. Should we start slowly creeping to the east? 
Well, are we going to drive into that? Uh, no. We'll be good. As long as we stay in the outflow, we'll be fine. The check engine went off. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Just needed to see a tornado. <laughs> tornado warning. And is it going to be rain wrapped? Uh, probably. Or at least very low contrast. With the storm becoming more outflow dominant, it was time to call off the chase. Our first day was a big success. To celebrate my dad's first tornado, we treated ourselves to some of the finest food in the storm chasing world and began preparations for day two. Our second day of the trip would take us to South Dakota, where our previous day's surface low would be setting up with high amounts of low level instability and wind shear, providing plenty of fuel for our thunderstorms. After packing up, we hit the road for our target area of Martin, South Dakota, but we had to stop at a historical landmark along the way. By 1 p.m., the first cells of the day began slowly building, with one area of development to our north and another one to our south. There? Yep. I wonder if it'll kick something up when these two merge. Just like the previous day, a storm merger was underway helping to spin this otherwise wimpy squall line. It's rotating a little bit. You can kind of see it. You can see this yeah. kind of going. Light rotation. The thing is though, we have a merger going on. So this cell over here is kind of feeding into this one that can help spin it up. I'm kind of thinking we move north a little bit just to stay ahead of this. Alright. Our plan was to take the main north road out of town to keep up with the storm. The roads out here suck. Yep. <laughs> However, the numerous potholes made it impossible to cover any ground. Yes, no. Uh, can we get out from below these power lines a little bit? Well, go up the road, up over this hill a little bit. I can't really turn around. I don't know if this is someone's driveway or if it's a road. I think this is someone's driveway. Go back? Yeah, I, that's why I wanted to stop here. Yeah. Our only shot to get back in front of the storm was to head east and punch through the storm's rotating base. Just keep the water coming down. Six miles to go. It was blown this way. Yeah, now it's going the other way. So close. Yeah. It's good, it's a good lightning shot. Yep. Yeah, it is spinning up there. Is it? Is it? Did it go through something like it? A little bit of spin up there. Just moving the rain around. No rain, it wasn't a rain wrap. No, it was just moving. Just the, that was intense. Yeah. I'm gonna stop and take a look. Well, if there was anything, that's... It's in there somewhere. Yeah, it would be right up over there. Well, it's gonna be... Should we go? Uh, sure. Then we can turn around and look at it. Go 
Because look at that. Yeah, I see that it. right there. I see it. That's what we came out of. Yep. Yeah. There was probably a little rotation in there, but then on the ground yet. I think it was just strong RFD cutting around. view. This storm seemed to be on its way out, so we started heading back to the hotel. The only thing standing in our way was some elevated convection. No wonder it was so white. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why did you take something? May 29th would be our final day of chasing. The Storm Prediction Center had issued a slight risk with a 2% tornado probability, but we were optimistic this forecast had potential to overperform. A bullseye of low-level instability and surface vorticity was setting up over northern Nebraska, and computer models suggested supercells would be moving right through that region. After an early wake-up, followed by a brief stop to see some more roadside landmarks, we arrived at our target area, Valentine, Nebraska. By 3 p.m., a lone thunderstorm started slowly developing to our southwest. Out of all the storms in the country, we thought for sure this one was going to be the storm of the day. So, we began moving south. Let's head south towards this guy. Get on its good side so we can actually see the base a little bit. You're good this way. There we go. Game on! We got an isolated cell in a volatile environment. That's all you can ask for. I think we picked the right one today. Yep. I've got a good feeling about this cell. Hell, Hell yeah! Hell yeah! this thing does. We have some very, very hot air feeding into this thing. We might have a base starting to get more developed over here. I say we move back west a little bit just before this rain overtakes us. That way? Or east. East. Back this way. Stop by Ryan. Is this Ryan? Yeah, it's Ryan. You want to pull up by him? Yeah. <laughs> it looks. There's just so much developing around it. It can't like merge with anything. No. <laughs> not good. Not good. Yeah. I thought for sure this was gonna stay isolated. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the inflow is warm here, but there's just so much around it. I'm wondering if we give it a little time, if these cells to its south are going to build into it and help give it another kick. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're going to move east a little bit just to stay clear of the hail. <laughs> Do you want to go to Brewster? Yeah, let's start making our way that way. Our storm had quickly developed into a multi-cell mess, as numerous other updrafts from different storms had fired in the vicinity and were interfering with one another. We ended up making the tough decision to call off the chase and head back to our hotel in South Dakota. However, Mother Nature had other plans. Last little storm of the day, a little supercell. Just to our west, a promising supercell was slowly organizing. Not wanting to end the day empty-handed, we decided this would be our final play. Could just stayed here. <laughs> what? Could just stayed here. Right, this town. Face it right. Yeah. Sweet. That. Yeah, perfect. Nice little storm. I'm gonna shoot a time lapse of this guy.
That is a nice supercell. With a lot of hail coming out the back of it. Wow, look at that thing. You can see our storm is starting to fizzle out, but pretty cool to see as it was crossing this road here. Yeah. <laughs> Finally got some storm photos on the Mia, which I've always wanted to do. Incredibly striated supercell here. It's really small for what it is, but I ain't complaining. Man. <laughs> South Dakota magic. Nothing like a good old chase in South Dakota. Not too shabby. That is pretty good. Rainbow wedge. <laughs> Close range. That is a very, very bright rainbow. That's a good one. Yeah. That is a very bright rainbow. Backside of a nice LP supercell. Great end to the day. Great end to what looked like was gonna be a bus. Doesn't get much better than that. Got the moon up there, the rainbow on the bottom. <laughs> in total, we drove roughly 2,500 miles during this trip, and it was definitely well worth it. If you want to see some more of the amazing storms we saw, then check out my Instagram or head on over to my darkroom page. I'm posting new photos on those sites all the time. My dad and I are hoping to do another Tornado Alley road trip next spring, maybe even for a full week. However, there's still plenty of time left in this season, and the wild weather around here certainly isn't letting up. But those are stories for another day. Till then, thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll be back again soon.